Usually when you connect a Samsung tablet or other mobile device to a network, it will be randomly assigned a dynamic IP address from a DHCP server. Every time it disconnects and reconnects, it will be given a new IP address. This is often ideal as it requires little to no configuration. However, there are times when manually setting a static IP address for a mobile device can be advantageous. This video will outline how to set up a static IP address for a device on a wired network. Using a static IP address with your tablet is useful if it needs to be reliably accessed by other devices on the network, as the address doesn't change. A static IP also makes it easier to access the tablet remotely through a virtual private network server. Recommended if you're using the mobile device to connect to a web or email server that also has a static IP address. Devices on static IPs tend to perform faster and are more stable than their counterparts on dynamic IPs. To set up a static IP on a wired network, first connect the tablet to the network using the Ethernet adapter, such as Lava's NSYNC E Ethernet adapter. Then go to the Settings menu and choose Connections. Tap on the More Connection Settings option and choose Ethernet on the next screen. If you haven't attached the tablet to the wired network yet, the Ethernet option will be grayed out. Toggle Ethernet off and tap on Configure Ethernet Device. A configuration light box will appear, allowing you to choose the connection type. Change DHCP to Static IP. A form will open up and you will be able to enter the appropriate network settings. IP address is the specific address you want to use. Netmask is used to define the size of a subnet, limiting the number of IP addresses available to the host, which in this case is the Samsung tablet. The standard subnet mask for a network is 255.255.255.0, which has a range of 256 IP addresses available. Some manufacturers have started to use network prefix length instead of the subnet mask. It serves the same purpose and is expressed as an integer between 1 and 128. Assuming the host has an IP address of 192.168.0.35 as seen on the screen, all devices with an IP address in the range of 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.0.255 would be available to the host. The default gateway is the router's IP address. If you aren't sure what to put in those fields, contact your network administrator who should be able to provide you with all the necessary information. Once you've finished filling out the form, tap on Save and toggle Ethernet back on. Congratulations, you've now set up your Samsung tablet with a static IP on a wired network.